guys, Carter here. Um, just started warming up the train back. So I just thought I'd show you through a bit of a back session so you can see what I've been doing while I've been training at home. Uh, it's all free weight work and then pull ups, that sort of thing. A bit of work with bands. I'm running out of light, so it'll be a little hard to film the later stage of the session, which is when I usually get to the pull ups and the banded work that I use the pull up bar for. So. I'll try and get some of that on camera if I can, hopefully the light lets me, um, but yeah, it should be a pretty good session and yeah, keen to get into it. Starting off with some bent over rows and hoping to go pretty heavy, 140-ish, somewhere around that and here's the training mascot herself, little Bella, keen to get away from me right now I think, aren't you? Huh? Nah, she's pretty content. <laughs> All right. Better get into it. with bent over barbell rows is if you're rolling your wrists under as you're rolling you're not going to be feeling as much of a contraction in your back whereas if you keep your wrist neutral whole way through the movement back can contract so much more I don't really know if that's something for everyone but for me if my wrists are rolled under like that I just don't feel anything really um, yeah if you keep your wrist straight even when you're going on your heavy reps, heavy sets, yeah you're probably going to be feeling much more of a contraction. too chilly here so jump is going back on.
All right, so that's the back session done. Started with the bent over rows, went up to 140 for three sets of eight, and then a back offset of 100 for 10, I think. I don't know, slow reps, slow negatives on that one, just get a good stretch. Uh, then went to dumbbell rows, keeping good hold at the top, contracting as hard as I can, slow negatives, bit of a pause at the bottom. Then did the the, the TheraBand resistant band, um, pull downs and rows, those sort of things. So that's once again just to try and get a good contraction, get a bit of a stretch. No, you know, you're not pushing progressive overload there, you're not trying to go heavy because. I mean, it's kind of hard to do that with bands, um, especially with the limited bands that I have right now. Um, then after that, I did some pull-ups, so wide grip and neutral grip. So I sort of just changed the grip around to try and hit the back in a little bit of a different way every now and then. And then just finished off with some high dumbbell rows, so really just trying to hit the upper traps, bit of rear delt, that sort of thing. Um, so that wasn't you know going heavy or anything, just trying to pump as much blood in there as I could. As soon as I'm doing heavy bent over rows and deadlifting, which I do on uh, leg days, my traps don't need much work. My traps kind of just explode when I'm doing deadlifts, so I don't really put too much emphasis on them. Um, I rarely actually do ever if I'm in a gym because I just do so much for my mid to lower back. Um, but yeah, happy with how the session went. Um, I'm pretty keen for gyms to be opening up again pretty soon. I'm going to be training with a couple of friends in their home gyms fairly soon, so that'll be good. I'll try and film those sessions if I can. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll hopefully be hopefully be back at Doherty's as soon as I can be. That'll involve moving back to Melbourne. Um, but yeah, that's the goal. Try and get back there by the end of June. So got a month more in Adelaide. Hopefully, I hope I'm not here too, too much longer. But yeah, cool, so that's the whole session. Um, as usual, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like, subscribe, all those sort of things. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, I'll try and upload another video next week. So yeah, cool. Peace out.